Large language models don't process text the way you might think. When you type a sentence into ChatGPT, it's immediately converted into token embeddings, numerical representations, and high dimensional vector space. This isn't just encoding, it's a fundamental transformation that preserves semantic relationships mathematically. The geometry of this space is what allows the model to understand meaning. Tokenization happens first, text gets broken into subword units, understanding becomes under, stand, ing. This allows the model to handle unknown words and maintain a fixed vocabulary size, typically around 50,000 tokens. Each token then maps to a learned embedding vector through a lookup table that's trained end-to-end -end with the model. Think of it as a massive dictionary where each token has a corresponding vector stored. These embeddings exist exist in vector spaces with dimensionality ranging from 768 in smaller models to over 12,000 in larger ones. Each dimension encodes semantic, syntactic, and contextual information simultaneously. The key property is distributional semantics. Embeddings that are close in vector space represent tokens with similar meanings or usage patterns. You can measure this with cosine similarity. King minus man plus woman famously gets you close to queen. These aren't programmed relationships, they emerge from training on massive text corpora. The model learns these patterns by seeing billions of examples. Modern transformers use contextual embeddings, the representation for bank changes based on surrounding tokens. The base embedding passes through attention layers that dynamically adjust it based on context. This is why BERT and GPT can disambiguate meaning where older static embeddings like Word2Vec couldn't. In Word2Vec, bank always had the same vector regardless of context. The embeddings are continuously recomputed at each layer of the network. As information flows through 12, 24, or even 96 transformer layers, the representations become increasingly refined and context-aware. That's the power of token embeddings.